Okay, so so excited to do a little bit of a follow-up. We don't always get to do that. And the first time we met young Tyler Armstrong, he was just nine years old and he was just about to become the youngest person ever to climb Argentina's Mount Aconcagua. Am I saying that right, Tyler? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That was all you. Tyler is now 11 and just came back from Russia after climbing Mount Elbrus. Did I say that right, Tyler? Yes. That was a little easier. And like all his climbs before this, it was for a very important cause. Hey, Tyler. Three down, four to go. Next up, Everest. Help me raise a million dollars for Kier Duchesne. Oh my goodness, you know what, Tyler, that just gave me goosebumps to hear that. So Tyler's here, obviously, and your dad, Kevin, who does the climbs with you. Thank you so much for coming in. So you are just about really gearing up for the biggest, biggest climb fight of your life, right? Yes. Tell me about it. What's going on? Well, we just got back from um, Russia, which uh, we just climbed Mount Everest, mm -hmm. and now we're um, training and getting ready for Mount Everest, hopefully in April. And then we're also doing a training climb in December um, named Cotopaxi. Okay, so for people who don't know what Duchenne's disease is, tell us a little bit about that. Well, Duchenne is a muscular dystrophy that only affects boys. It's when they're, like, after they're work, like, after, like, they, like, because when we work out, our muscles get smaller and they get bigger and stronger. They're just slowly, like, fade away, and then they don't grow back, and the heart's a muscle, so by the age of 20, they usually end up dying. So it's, and it affects mainly boys or just only boys? Just only boys. Okay. So you're, you're trying to get stronger to help those who can't. Yeah. That is so incredible. And now, if you do complete this, this, this next climb, you're going to do it, you're going to break a record, I hear. Is that, is that true? Yes, I'll be the youngest ever to climb Mount Everest. And how important was that for you when you made this decision to go for it? Um, um, it was amazing that I, I think I'm ready for um, Everest and I'll be able to go to the highest mountain in the world. Well, I was reading about it and there's, a, there's an area of Ev Everest called the death zone. It sounds so daunting. Does that intimidate <laughs> you at all? It sounds daunting when you yeah, say it like that. I'm freaked out. Does it intimidate <laughs> you at all though? Um, a little bit, but with the right training and when we prepare for, on other mountains, I think I can um, bypass that death zone and get to the summit. Dad, for you, what mm -hmm. is this like to watch him really fulfill his dream at such a young age? This started, we've been watching you for almost two years now. I mean, it's amazing that he has such a passion for it. I mean, I wasn't a climber before doing this. This is all Tyler, so I've had to go take the training classes and learn all the mountaineering with him. So it's all Tyler driven. That he, It's a sport that he loves and that's what he wanted to do. And he's just, he's proven to the experts and other mountain climbers that he's, you know, takes it serious and he, he does the training. and. I mean, he's done everything people have asked him to do. But what about the risk? I mean, I know, you, I think your wife usually is here too. I mean, I just think you guys must, like, inside must be scared, or do you um, have well, a little faith? There's always risk to every sport. I mean, you know, football, everything else. I mean, Tyler takes it so serious. He's like an adult on the mountain. He, I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's taking the training. I mean, he's got expert guides that are training him. So, I mean, I watch him all the time. So, and you've got experts that are watching him and training him. They've kind of relieved a lot of that stress. I mean, there is, in any sport, there's always you know some amount of danger. Tyler, too. explain to me what it feels like the moment you succeed at one of these climbs. You hit you hit the peak. You're there. What's the first thought that enters your mind? I did it, and now I get to go down. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I'm right there with you. And I like I go that. Down. Yeah. Will you go see the movie Everest that's coming out? Definitely. Just, We're taking everybody. So you will go see that movie Definitely. because it, I I can't wait to see it, but it seems a little scary. Yeah, but they over-exaggerate some of it. Oh. Good, yeah, yeah, for Hollywood purposes. Cool yeah. as a cucumber. Good. This kid, I love it. you know that already. Okay, <laughs> well, and this is one of your best buddies or someone that you're doing this for, right? Tell us yeah. quickly about him. Um, Hawkin, he's um, just going to college, and he he's diagnosed with this disease. Okay, mm. so you're doing it for boys like him. And for more information on Tyler and his trip to Mount Everest, you can go to our website, myfoxla.com, and find out how you can help out Cure Edition. So you're an great to see young you. Man. Thank you. We want to see you when you come back, okay? Yep. And will you be posting pictures while you're up there? Is there a way for us to see that as you're going, do you know? I'm sure we will. When we get to Everest, there, we're going to have hopefully blogs from the mountain, videos from the mountain, everything yeah, else. Your website's pretty incredible, Yeah. And by then, the way. Um, we're trying to do this Crowd Rise page that you can donate to. We're trying to raise a million dollars, and it's at Climb to Cure Duchenne. Ugh, Got it. So and cool. all that's on our website, too. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Cool. Good Great luck. Great to see you again.